you have ID on you, sir? All right, I'm gonna ask some questions. He doesn't have the ID, you know that. Okay. What's your name? Who? I'm give that out. He doesn't have to give that. Give me your name? No. Uh, I'm the driver. That's all you're stopping, bro. You know that. He's. It's my policy. Is he's in my vehicle? He knows that my rules are, and he's not allowed to give up his ID. What's going on? How many times have I asked you to leave my property? Uh, a couple times. Okay. Why are you still on my property? I don't know what part of get the f off. Do I need to stuff. grab you and get you to f my property? You can go to jail if you do that. Why? You're on my f property. There's a no trespass sign. Here, go. I go. I am. Go. No, sir. Go. I'm so done with this. Go. Go. What part of get the f Step off back. my property back, do you not understand? Get What's going on, everybody? And today we have two bangers for you. A killer ID refusal from Gorilla Cop Watch, and then cops getting trespassed off private property and owned by John Stewart. These ones are phenomenal. Let's jump into the first one from Gorilla Cop Watch. You guys go down the back window for me? Uh, no, I'm okay. How can I help you? Cops love asking you to roll your windows down for their safety. Uh, you want to reach over for the registration, sir, and roll all your windows down for me. And this is because they're petrified. Despite the fact that they have tack gear, a taser, assault weapons, and a sidearm. I thought we paid them to be brave, not to be scared. But some of you folks at home may not know that you don't have to do that. You're not there for their safety, you're there for your own, and it can be rather unsafe just being in the vicinity of a police officer. During a traffic stop, the only thing you're actually required to do is present your identification and proof of insurance to the police officer. You don't even have to physically hand it over to them. The law is very specific that you only have to present it. But laws be damned, it's all about officer safety. Jimmy. Yeah, can I help you? What's going on, man? I don't know. How can I help you? Hey, uh, so as I was pulling up, you didn't stop at the stop sign up on Tabor. Uh, yeah, I did. I was there for a minute. You didn't. Not when I was pulling up. All right, well, what do you want to do about it? Well, I'm, well, I'm conducting a traffic stop. So that's your RAS for not a complete stop? Yes. All right. The reason for stop? Is that your code for that? Well, that says California law, isn't it? I don't know what that acronym is. That's interesting that a cop doesn't know what RAS is. Well, let us help you out, officer. Reasonable, articulable suspicion. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? That a police officer requires RAS to either pull you over or to detain you, but they don't know what RAS is. But what more do you expect from six weeks of training? All right, man. Uh, let's see where my license is here. Can I help you? Can you just name both name, name badge numbers real quick? Yeah, we'll get that for you after this uh, stop is conducted. Problem number one for this cop. A new law was put into effect in California in 2022. That's Assembly Bill 2773. And that bill requires a police officer to tell you the reason for the stop the moment they pull you over and to provide their name and or police ID number. It also prohibits the police from asking you if you know why they pulled you over. The purpose of this is so drivers know exactly what they're dealing with when they're pulled over by police and to prohibit the police from entrapping drivers. And if you're in California like Gorilla Cop Watch, cops also can't pull you over for expired license plate stickers in less two months have passed. But it's no surprise this cop didn't know what reasonable articulable suspicion was. I'm not surprised he's not up to date on new laws that have just passed. Who do you want it? Okay. Who wants it? Thank you. Is this your card? Uh, you can run the plates. Okay. Do you have registration insurance? Everything should be in there. Both of them? Uh, yep. Registration insurance. Whose car is it? Now this cop must have just left Bass Pro Shop because he's got his rod and he's trying to go fishing. Also, these are questions that you don't have to answer. You have every right to exhibit your Fifth Amendment privilege and stay silent during questioning. Besides giving up your ID, registration, or proof of insurance, there's no questions you have to answer. 
This cop's only asking these questions because he wants to try and hem Gorilla up. Uh, it's, it's, it's family. You can run the plate. Oh, I know that. See, Anderson, is that like mom, dad, grandma? It's family. You don't have to worry about it. I have permission to drive the vehicle. Okay. All state. Any probation or parole for anybody in the car? It's a standard. Nothing. Do you have ID on you, sir? All right, I'm going to ask, ask you questions. He doesn't sir? have the ID. You know that. Okay. What's your name? Who? I'm give that out. He doesn't have to give that. Give me your name? No. no. I'm the driver. That's all you're stopping, bro. You know that. Please pay attention. If you're watching this video, there is no state in the United States of America that can compel a passenger to give up their identification unless there's probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion. Now, cops don't generally know what that is, like this cop here. But that means the police have to have proof or probable cause that you have been, are currently in the commission of, or are about to commit a felony, misdemeanor, city ordinance violation, or moving violation. If you have it and there's no RAS for it, as a passenger, you never have to identify to police. In fact, if you're a passenger in a vehicle and the police have pulled you over and you haven't been recording, well, you should start the moment they ask you for your ID. All right, then. All right, you can ask. I'm just telling you, no, I, he's, it's my policy. Is he's in my vehicle? He knows that my rules are, and he's not allowed to give up his ID. What an awesome rule to have. Your passengers are not allowed to give up their ID to cops. It's your policy. I think I'm going to start enforcing that rule. Uh, so now I have James Freeman on the phone. He's coming to visit me next week. Uh, so James, I just want to let you know that if we get pulled over, I have a policy for my vehicle that no passengers are allowed to identify to police. Excellent. You know what, Josh? Any any self-respecting person would have that policy. That should be adopted nationwide by everybody. Well, it is a policy, and I'm going to enforce it on you, so I'm glad that you're um, submitting to my will, because if you didn't, I would have to make you comply. Josh, uh, while that sounds very tempting, I may choose not to comply just so that I can experience that level of force. But I do like the rule. <laughs> well, it is a great rule, and I love what this guy did with it. So, if you want to punish me, you can punish me. It's not a punishment. Well, then it is what it is. I'm just letting you know. He's not. He already said he's not going to give it. Well, I just talked to him. Let All right, then. I'll it. record it, and you keep. You can. You can okay. see. Same time, Jimmy. I know it's not. I've been holding the brake. <laughs> That's the first thing to tell you. To <laughs> hey, it's not it's not law that I have to, I have to do it. It's not law. They can ask me. Just like how they can ask me to roll down the back windows. I didn't have to. It's not state law. It's not uh there's no uh um a uh, case uh sorry, can I can I just bounce off my head? Uh, there's no uh case law regarding you have to roll down your windows, so Like you gotta be so hostile. And that's what it boils down to. I don't know why you gotta be so hostile. But this cop is a perfect example of what's wrong with policing in America. You as a citizen standing on your rights is being hostile. You not complying with unlawful directives without reasonable articulable suspicion, a raz the cops have no idea about, is being hostile. You not just blindly submitting to the police, that's hostile. But the police flexing perceived imaginary non-existent authority on you and trying to make you give up your Fourth Amendment right, that's not hostile. That's just part of the job. I'm not, I'm not hostile. I'm not hostile. I'm trying to be as nice and respectful. Every hey. time we've come in contact with you, we've been respectful, right? It is. I know. Right. I'm, hey, I understand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I have I'm not, a job to do. Right? I'm just trying to enforce on the way I know how things are. And, and that's why I'm asking you, hey, what's the reason you stop me? 100%. I'm glad you, you told me before you, I had to get my ID. 100%. That's the proper way to do it. 100%. Anything else today? That's it, man. You're free to go. All right. Have, have a good day. day. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. That's how you do it, folks. Woo! 
That, in fact, is how you do it. So make sure you check out Gorilla Cop Watch. His link will be in the description of this video, along with his original video. So for the next one, let's jump into Jon Stewart. Hey, Skipper, how many times have I asked you to leave my property in the last two minutes, sir? Hey, John. Name and badge number first? Hey, hey real quick. Name and badge number? Name and badge yeah, number? Name and badge number? Hernandez. Five, three, okay. five. Johnny Hernandez. Before you say anything, let me just catch up with what's going on. How many times have I asked you to leave my property? Uh, a couple times. What's really interesting is the police are there for trespassing. They're there to ask John not to trespass on somebody else's property. While they're currently been trespassing on his property, they've been asked to leave three times and they've stayed after being forbid. So they're trespassing so that they can tell him to not trespass. Cop logic. Okay. Why are you still on my property? Because I gotta explain to you why we're here. So he asks, why are you trespassing? And they say, oh, we have to explain to you why we're here. Let's do a quick script flip. I'm at a public place. The cops try and trespass me. And then ask why I'm still there. And I say, well, let me explain something. I don't actually get to say, let me explain something, because by that point, I'm already in handcuffs being dragged away. And that's in a public place. These cops don't even have any respect for your private property. Rules for thee and not for me. Do you know why we're here? I know why you're here. I could care less why you're here. Why am I here? Why are you here? Mm -hmm. um, probably because I had a conversation with a neighbor mm -hmm. on her porch that she agreed to speak to me. I just had a few is things. This, I'm, is this I'm, the elderly woman? It's the old uh, hunchback, what mm -hmm. I call her, hunchback. That's okay, that's yes. why we're here. Yeah, yeah. So, I understand y'all had a conversation, whatever y'all had to do. No, she no, asked, hold on, sure. she asked you to leave, and you left, correct? She didn't ask me to leave, I left. I actually got up and so, stopped the conversation. So the we're here is, we want to get your side of the story mm. and figure out what's going on. Isn't that interesting? The cops are there to get his side of the story, to figure out what's going on, because they want to help him. They want to help him by breaking the law and violating his rights. And cops wonder why that citizens have no faith in them whatsoever, that no one has any trust in them, that no one can believe anything that they utter from their mouth. And they do it to themselves. It's their own stupidity. Sir, I'm a police officer, and I'm here to help you by hurting you. So, so, but here's where we're at. So she's saying that I guess the conversation, I don't really know, escalated a little bit. No, it just. So she. I called her. So she doesn't want you back on our sure. property anymore. She's so, loved. Well, she's well, never well, asked me that, but that's fine. Okay, you guys so have notified me. Is, this can be a criminal trespass warning. I mean, the irony of this is absolutely incredible. It's really hysterical. The cops are alleging that the lady across the street doesn't want this guy back on her property. She says she asked him to leave, he did, and now the police want to file a criminal trespass against him. So what do these intelligent police officers think should happen to them? So if we're agreeing that she asked Jon Stewart to leave, and he did, and he deserves a criminal trespass, what do they think they deserve when he asked them to leave and they didn't? Sounds like criminal trespass. Remaining after forbidding. Breach of the peace. These criminals, someone should really call the cops. Wait, they are the cops. That's all it is. Sure. Basically a piece of paper saying you can't go over there. That's great. So, what's your last name, John? Now, hold on. Now that you've said your piece, I've got some questions. Okay. Before I answer any questions, I need an attorney present. I can't answer any questions, including... Well, you're not under arrest, so... Well, you're saying that you're making it out as though criminal trespass. No, sir. Did hold you? on, hold on, hold on. Let me... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. And I just want to make this very clear. Huh? She... You've officially noted we have badge cams? Dash, you know, yeah. any kind of body cams? Yeah. You have body, body cams on. No, we have body mics. Okay, I have body mics. I live at 152 Tanglewood Drive. You have informed me that I'm not to go on that lady's property. I will not go on that lady's property. That is all you need. Now, will you please exit my property? I have nothing else to say to you. I have no other information to give to you unless I have an attorney present. And this is now 
the sixth time I will be filing a complaint against both of you that I've asked you to leave my property. Why are you, do you see the no do you see the no trespassing sign? Yes, so I'm we're gonna fill You saw the no trespassing sign. Look, I've been letting you talk. Let me talk. That's respectful, right? No. Because yeah, I don't, I pay so your salary, you don't out. pay my salary. I pay my own salary too, thank you. Sure. This cop is so stupid, I pay my own salary. What he's alluding to is that he's a taxpayer, so he's paying for himself. I don't think that's quite how that works. He's getting paid from tax dollars. So he's just doubly recycling our money. And he thinks that that's his defining moment. He really got a good quip in there. Thank you, officer, for showing the rest of America how to double down on dumb. So well, we're going to fill this out, and you don't have to sign, you don't have to look I'm at sure it. You're right. But I'm going to leave it right there, and you can acknowledge it if you want to acknowledge it. Doesn't matter to me, but if you go back over there after today. And, and you don't need to on, tell me what a criminal trespass is. I'm aware of what a criminal trespass is. You're going to go to jail. I don't care. I won't. Okay. I won't ever have anything to do with that nasty okay. old well, hunchback hey, listen, again. I got to do my job. And it's you my do job your job. Okay, but your job requires you to respect my rights and to get the f off my there. property. Doesn't I am to telling you to That's get the fuck off my property. You do not have That's a right fine. just because you have a badge and a gun. Okay. It's not a crown. Get the fuck off my property. Leave it out the gate. Leave it at the gate. Leave it at the gate. I still have to explain. Okay. Now I'm going to call. For emergency services because you are trespassing That's and I I would like you both given a trespass warning would you write yourself a trespass warning please write your mother selves a trespass okay. warning because if you're ever on my property again what I'm gonna defend my property okay and just you can you can take that for what it is I will. now will you get the fuck off my property yeah when we're done with that okay so you're not gonna stay get off my property not until we're done with Good. that now, police can show up at your house and knock on your door and ask you almost anything, but absent of a warrant, they have to leave once you demand them to. In fact, in the United States, you have the right to tell the police to leave your property at any time. Police do not have the right to enter your property without permission. This is called a knock and talk. If police knock on your door, ask them for identification, then ask them to leave. Your next question might be, well, what if they're investigating a crime? Like, these cops are here. There's a crime that's been alleged. Same thing. No warrant, no right to stay. They can be investigating the heist of the crown jewels themselves. If they don't have a warrant in hand to serve you, signed by a judge, and you ask them to leave, they have to leave. If they remain at that point, they are trespassing. If they continue to remain, they are trespassing after being forbid. And in a matter of minutes, they've went from a misdemeanor to a felony. Do you understand that if you violate my constitutional rights, that you lose your qualified immunity? Yep. I'm glad you get that. Mm -hmm. Now, if I release my dog, I'm going to close this gate and release my dog. So, if you could clear the way. Excuse me. Can you move? Is it going to bite? Um, I have no idea. He's very, uh, well, we'll he's defensive. We'll do do Listen, I'm closing the gate. If you'd like to leave, you're welcome to leave. I'm asking you to leave. Look at how much officer safety trumps everything. These cops are delivering a trespass and explaining how bad it is to trespass while they're literally trespassing and remaining after being forbid. So now they're on his property completely illegally. He's going to let out his dog, and their first concern is, does the dog bite? If the dog bites, we're going to have to put it down. Well, if you weren't committing a felony, and you actually obeyed the law instead of breaking it, you wouldn't be on his property, i.e. you wouldn't be worried about his dog biting you. But that's the answer for everything. Break the law, and if something resists, kill it. You're on my property. I'll give you 30 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Come on, Mikey. Listen, 20, 21. Listen, 
Now, I don't know if Mikey's a Chihuahua or a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but either way, these cops aren't so brave anymore. In fact, now they're almost at the gate and they close that gap in seconds. And I gotta be honest, I'd be doing the same thing. I have a German Shepherd named Gia and a German Shepherd Belgian Malinois mix named Rev. They're both super protective over the property and their family, and they're also huge and very highly trained. I feel bad for anyone that's on my property who's not welcome the second that door opens. And these cops should feel the same way. 22, 23, 24. He's taking his sweet ass time. 25, 26. At least you have the smarts to move. You shoot my dog, I'll defend my property. 28, 29, 30. Mikey, come on. He's already outside, dumbasses. Get the f*** out of you, stupid coward-ass Some of you for security measures may have a ring doorbell. Some of you may practice your Second Amendment. But I'm just like John. I have the best security system in the world. This is my backyard. On the left is the Belgian Malinois Shepherd Rev, and on the right is the German Shepherd Gia. And I gotta tell you, I feel bad for anyone that tries to trespass on my property, and that includes the cops. You just can't be too careful with people that won't get off your land. At least you have the smarts to get his off the property. He's too dumb to bite you anyway. Man, get the off my property. You guys don't have any respect. Come on. Get the off my gear. Yeah, I don't give a f you guys don't have honorable jobs. I know you think you have, you could be an honorable job. You know what I taught my kids? What's Man, this? I really don't care, to be honest. I got good kids, but watch. This is what I taught my kids. The idea of what you do is honorable. If you did it so, honorably, you fine. don't. Man, you can stop talking because I'm not listening It's good, then get the f off. Hey, come on, get the f off. Hey, I don't know what stuff. part of get the f off. Do I need to stuff. grab you and get you the f off my property you can go to jail if you do that why it's nuts that these cops egos are so blistering that they truly believe they can do anything they want violate anyone they want and break any laws that they want and if you dare question them or try and stop them then they're the ones that can take you to jail they break the law you don't but you go to jail because they have a piece of tin on their uniform that cost about $7.50 to make. I wish for a second that this guy had a Revengia at his house. You're on my f***ing property. There's a no trespass sign. Here lawfully. Get the f***. You're not. You're no longer I welcome am. here. I Go. Am. Go. I am. Go. No, sir. Go. I'm so done with this. Go. Go. What part of get the f*** off back. my property back, do you not understand get the f off of my property what part of that are you not understanding get the f off one, right? of my property you're about six one uh, i can you. tell you how big my f is if you like to know about that how much do you weigh man he just says the ego part this is the part where if you didn't have an ego and you guys might actually be honorable men, but your ego makes you f cowards. You know what? Yeah. yeah. yeah you Don't get your up. gun caught up. Excuse me. That's Thank fine. you. Get the f off my fence. You're not welcome here anymore. You've been officially trespassed. Okay. Get the f off my land. Go visit the old lady. She'd love to hear from you. And don't litter on. The same as with Gorilla Cop Watch. Make sure you go tell Jon Stewart that Accountability for All sent you. His channel link and original video will be in the description of this one. I covered these videos for a very specific reason. You have the right for your Fourth Amendment to remain intact. Whether you're in your automobile on the road or you're at your home. In both scenarios, there's very little police can do without consent or a warrant. And absent both of those, legally, they're limited to what they can do. The problem with cops, though, is they very rarely act within the color of law. Because they're normally so stupid, they don't know the law. So they're real comfortable acting outside of it and downright violating it. But this isn't just the cops' fault. It's the government's fault. 
I mean, we're talking about 300 hours. On a national average, that's how much training it takes to become a police officer. But in comparison, it's about 1,800 hours to become a barber or a beautician. But with almost 10 times as much training, we don't let barbers go around arresting people. But I think maybe we should. At least they're more qualified for it. Don't give up your rights. If you do, you're part of the problem. And until next time, that's the reason I stopped you today.